Hi, I'm Eric Lempel, Director of PlayStation Network Operations, here to give you your first official look at Firmware Update 2.40. As many of you know on the blog, we've been listening to your feedback and have delivered a lot of the features you've asked for. And this Firmware Update actually contains the number one most asked for feature, the in-game XMB. This is part one of the update, and we're going to give you another update in the next few days to show you some more of the features. But today, let's focus on in-game XMB. So as you can see in the background, I've got Gran Turismo 5 Prologue playing, and I'll, I'll jump in the game for a second. And by pressing the PS button, I can actually pop the XMB. In this game, I'm actually going to pause it so I don't hit into any of the walls. So let's take a look. So I'll hit the button, and as you can see, it brings up the XMB. And it's the standard XMB that you're used to seeing, and I can access all of the different features. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take a look at the friends list. And um, I'm going down here, and I can you know, go up, and I can send a message if I'd like. But it looks like I received a message from Jeff. So let's see what Jeff said. And I'll go to my message list, and he's saying... He's saying, hey, Eric, I just beat your score in Pixel Junk Monsters Encore. What are you going to do about it? Okay, so, well, clearly that's not good. So, in the past, I would have to get out of the game, go read the message, and then decide. So, now, you know, I'm just playing offline in GT5. I can get back to this later. So, I think I'm going to go jump right into Pixel Junk Monsters and, and go take on Jeff's score. So, uh, to do that, all I have to do is exit out of the message, go over on my XMB to my game section, and uh, I'll scroll down here to Pixel Junk Monsters Encore. I'll hit the button, and it's going to ask me, if you want to do this, you'll have to quit the current game. Obviously, you can't play two games at the same time. So I'm, I'm going to say yes, I'm going to quit this game, and uh, it'll take a second, but I won't have to go back out to the XMB and navigate over to Pixel Junk Monsters Encore. I've already done that, so it'll automatically take me over there. And um, as you can see, it kind of just touches the XMB for a second, and uh, now it's bringing up Pixel Junk Monsters Encore, so we'll, uh, we'll wait a moment while that comes up. So here I am in Pixel Junk Monsters Encore. And uh, I think what I do now is send a message back to Jeff to tell him you know, he should look out for his score because I'm about to take him on a bit. So, uh, so let's see, I can do that by popping in the XMB again. And um, there's Jeff, and I will create a message. And I can reply back the way I normally would, and he'll get that message, and then he can send the message back to me. So uh, there are a few other things you can do the X in the XMB, aside from exchanging messages with your friends back and forth. You can do some other things. You can go over to your network list and check your downloads. So if you went to the PlayStation Store and had a lot of downloads queued up, you can access the download feature from here. You can uh, move along the XMB to any of your other games to see what you've gotten there. You can go over to your music and photos, and if I go over to photos, I can actually view all the thumbnails for the photos, but if I want to go into a slideshow or bring any of those photos full screen, I click the button and it'll ask me, do you want to leave the game? Do you want to go out? And if I choose to do that, I can go out and move directly to those photos and slideshows. Um, some of the other things you're, you can do which are really cool are you can go to the settings menu, and uh, I know that for me, I've been in games many times, and some friends would come online and they'd say, do you want to play online? I might be in a game that's an online game, but I don't have my Bluetooth headset ready to go. So now you can actually, actually access the settings menu, and you can go down here and uh, you know, activate your Bluetooth device while you're in the game. So you don't have to exit the game, go out, set up the Bluetooth device. You can do it right in game. Um, another thing we've added with the in-game XMB is a, a clock and date feature. And uh, I know a lot of you have been asking about this because it's late at night and you might not be sure what time it is. So all you have to do now is hit the PlayStation button. It brings up the clock. Another great feature that the 2.40 firmware update lays the ground for is the ability to play your own music stored on your hard drive in-game. So as you can see in the background, I've got Pixel Junk Monsters Encore playing. I've shut off the soundtrack. While it's a great soundtrack, I just want to shut it off so I can show you how this feature works. I still have the game sounds playing. And so all I would have to do is pop the XMB. And uh, please keep in mind, this is still a concept, so this may not be exactly what it looks like once we deliver it, but this will give you a good idea of what we're planning. So I'll go over to the music section. And I can browse my music. As you can see, the game's still playing in the background. You could pause it if you don't want to uh, mess up your game. But I'll go to this, uh, this album here. I'll start playing this track. And as you can see, the track starts playing. I'm in game, and I'm back, and I'm playing again. And if I want to control the music, we've added a music control player. So again, I would bring up the XMB. I would go up to this, and I'd click on that, and as you can see, I could switch from this track to the next track, or it'll go to this track. I can stop the music, I can loop the sound, I can shuffle the playlist, and I can also adjust the volume of the music being played in-game. And we've added one more feature that we'll talk about today, and this is something we did on the PSP a few weeks ago with the 4.0 update, and that's the addition of a Google search bar. So if you go over to Network, you have this Internet search section. I'll click on that, and I'll, I'll type in PS3. And I've already, I already have that saved. And I'll click on it. And that'll just bring you immediately to Google and start searching for whatever term you put in the search bar. And you'll see the results. So uh, the first result is actually PlayStation.com. 
I'll click on that and I'll bring that up. Um, so we're really happy to bring this to you. We know you've been patiently waiting. Uh, you'll have this very soon. You'll be able to use it. This supports the majority of games available for PS3, and we look forward to bringing you some more information on this and look forward to your feedback. And there's one more thing I'd like to leave you with. I'll go back out to the XMB, and uh, our next update, which should be coming out very soon, and it's not the next firmware update, but actually just our next video about 2.40 is uh, our trophy system. And we're going to talk about that in detail in the next video, so watch this space for all the details.